when it happens, how do you, your arm just goes or what, what kind of symptoms do you have? I mean, at the start of the season two years ago, I kind of felt um, a little discomfort in my uh, forearm, but I thought it was just something I thought I could play through it, but obviously not. The velocity went way down. Um, I mean, it really wasn't just like a hard snap like most people feel, or feel like a little pop in there, but um, just gradually over time, and then the last outing just kind of just went away, and it's never it never recuperated or recovered after that. So, are you back to where you were then, or how how does that work? Uh, we're working there. Um, I feel like we're really close. Um, Velocity is back, um, but other than that, I mean everything's good. Pitches are good, and command's a little off, but uh, they say that's the last thing to come. So, is the uh, is it a long procedure? The uh, surgery itself. It it's not very long. Um, but I mean, it's the most people that are, uh, most people are, um, concerned about the recovery time. I mean, some guys take 12 months, some guys take 20 months. I mean, it just depends on the athlete, but I think that's what we're more concerned about and not the actual procedure that happens. So we trust our doctor here. He's good. And so, you know. you have kind of a, Nate Fisher went through it too. Did that help having a teammate that's. <laughs> it, it stinks having a teammate, right? but teammate that has it but um, it helped a lot through uh, the recovery process I mean uh, did a lot of rehab together um, kind of got us closer together as teammates um, and now I mean uh, we work together now uh, doing the same stuff that we did even a year ago rehab wise and uh, play catch and we have the same symptoms right now I mean, uh, I mean it just doesn't come back 100 percent so uh, we work uh, work together mentally and physically so uh, it's it's good this year what's it like being the first first guy in the series starter is that a little bit different a little more pressure I, mindset? I'd say it's a little bit more pressure but I mean um, I should be used to it but I haven't started since uh, freshman year um, but it feels good to uh, come out and throw more than one or two innings at a time um, I mean I'm just out here trying to help the ball club you know it's uh, as many innings as I can for these guys and uh, get it to our hitters so I mean, when you come out of the bullpen or when you're not the first night starter, you have an opportunity to see those guys. You have to do a little more study of scouting reports or whatever before you're the first night guy. I mean, not really. Uh, we don't do much film as pitchers. Um, I mean, we just pitch every every team like the same guys every time. So uh, pound the strike or pound the strike zone and uh, do your thing. So. Do you feel like you're stretched out to, to where you can go five, six, seven? Where's your comfort level? I think about five, six, seven, something like that is uh, pretty good right now. If uh, all uh, biggest problem right now is pitch count, obviously, so uh, get that down a little bit, and uh, we'll be good to go. Hopefully, get um, complete game here and there. So uh, it'd be nice to go uh, about six, seven, eight innings, something like that, to help the ball club. So, how do you watch it? Or are you concerned about the, the consistency? I mean, the team has shown there have been games. Where yeah, it's like, yeah, this is what it's supposed to be. And then there have been games that it's like, no, this is not. But that's baseball. I mean, uh, that's why we love the game. That's why we play the game. And it happens. Uh, one of these days, we're going to put the whole uh, whole game together, and um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. There's some there's some life in the bats there. Uh, pitching's uh, got to just limit the free bases, and uh, we do all that and play good defense. I think we're going to be pretty good. When you're coming back from that injury, I mean, you mentioned a lot of people are concerned about velocity and getting that back up. But, I mean, how long is it going to take you to get the rest of your pitches kind of sharp and back to where they should be? Because I would imagine that's the broad part of it, too. Yeah. Um, right now, I think my uh, pitches are pretty sharp. Um, as of now, um, it, the only thing that we're concerned about is uh, a little command. Um, but other than that, I mean, it'll start uh, smoothing itself out. Um, other than that, I mean, my pitches are pretty sharp. And um, you got to pound the strikes and you got to limit those free bases. Um, We've given up way too many, but um, we'll get there. Could have had some tough luck outings too, running runs and stuff like that. I mean, it, it's kind of shaking that stuff off. Is that a, matur a maturity thing too? So you kind of have to learn to, to move on to the next pitch, or how it do you kind of deal with that? It definitely is. Um, younger guys, that's what I'm trying to teach the younger guys. Like, hey, it's not the end of the world if somebody makes an error. Um, we got each other's backs here. I mean, we don't point fingers here. and. Um, it's like, you know what, if a ball hits you and you make an error, it's coming right back at you. That's the way baseball is. It will find you. Um, so the fact that our teammates have our have each other's backs um, helps a lot in their mentality and everything like that. So, yeah. What are you throwing right now? Pitch-wise, what are you, what are you throwing? 
um, different pitches. Yeah. You mean uh, fastball, change, curveball, slider. So I'll try to mix in uh, all of those, and uh, they're sharpening out. So. What are you throwing in your fastball? Right now, I think I'm up uh, 89 to about 91, 92, something like that, and uh, hopefully get better at, as the season goes on. What size you ever clock? Um, here uh, this year, I clocked out at 93. What was that conversation like when you were coming back? I mean, were they thinking you'd be a starter right off the bat, or, or was that your decision, or how did that kind of play out? They said you have to work for it, and uh, I worked my butt off in the, in the fall and showed them that. Um, I wanted the opportunity to be that starter, and like, well, they're going to throw you in Friday night. I said, um, bring it on, and uh, that's what I want to be. So uh, trained up for it, and good to go Friday. Now. When did they tell you you'd be a starter, a weekend guy? When did you uh, find that out? They probably told me uh, right after um, winter break, so right when we're uh, starting up uh, practice in the spring. So uh, it was a good confidence booster, but I mean, I knew there was a lot more work to be done. So. Is that surprising at all, or you know, considering the dynamics of they had their three weekend starters back, and you know, you're kind of jumping in that mix? What was that kind of thing? It was tough. Um, I mean, we just we love to compete against each other. I mean, that's the best part about this about this team. Everybody has the capability of doing it, um, but um, it was good competing against those guys and uh, um, earning that job. Felt good, but I mean, those guys are going to be down. The guys that lost their job, but you got to keep them up too and um, try to push them to get back into the starting role too. So, Jake Myers threw a complete game on Sunday. What can you learn from that performance? Uh, a lot. Um, he threw a lot of strikes. Um, I did chart for that game and uh, a lot of first pitch strikes. And I asked him right after the game, like, "Hey, teach us! Like, teach us what you do." And uh, he were joking about it, but I mean, uh, he's he's a good teacher. And uh, he taught us some um, pretty good points to uh, each game. And just, um, a lot of stuff that we're going to use the next start. Where do you want to get with your endurance to the point where you feel like you can throw a complete game? Um, I mean, right now my pitch count's there. I mean, uh, I threw over 100 pitches last one, or last uh, outing. So I'm not really concerned about that. It's just uh, strikes and throwing strikes is going to get you to the end of the game. So um, that's the plan. You mentioned sitting out last year. Do you learn anything mentally from that experience that you've kind of taken, uh, making yourself into a better pitcher now? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, hitters' consistency, or um, yeah, and uh, tendencies at the plate. And, and um, we play a lot of the same Big Ten teams as we did last year. Um, seeing those teams, I can pick up who likes to hit here, who likes to hit here, and who's uh, vulnerable to certain pitches. And uh, actually helped me out a lot. Um, mental notes last year. So. How about this team this weekend? What, what notes do you have on Pelican Charles? I mean, not much. I mean, uh, they played well against us last year, and we played decent. And uh, I mean, you just got to um, have the same mentality as you usually do with every other team, just pound strikes, and hopefully your defense can hold up and our uh, bats come tomorrow. You listen on the radio, or what did you do last year when they were on the, when the team's on the road? Um, I went to a couple road trips. I went to California and uh, College of Charleston. and. Uh, it was fun, but I mean, when I was back here, I mean, I just listened to the radio, which kind of stinks, but I mean, uh, it's the way it goes with an injury all year. Um, but uh, you could actually uh, learn a lot from the radio alone, from what the announcers say, and the, they have tendencies on um, certain guys too, so it was, uh, it was good. Hard to, go ahead. Is it hard to listen though, when, you know, if you guys are on the mound, you can't get out of an inning or something like that, or? It, it's hard, it's hard, and just the fact of like, you can't do anything, you're helpless, yeah. you know. Um, but um, you always cheer for them. I mean, you're like, oh yeah, you're gonna get the, you're gonna get out of this inning no matter what. I mean, if it if it does happen, you should go on to the next inning. Hopefully, they can come back. So.